Hello, what's up? My name is Asa Howard. Thank you so much for coming and checking out this video. This is my first ever YouTube video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about Google Sheets for dummies. This is for anyone that has almost never touched a spreadsheet in their life. I'm here to help. I'm just gonna get you started, show you a little bit of the things that you can do with spreadsheets. It's gonna be a quick video, very casual, but let's go ahead and hop into Google Sheets. And if you want, you can pull up Google Sheets on another tab and work through this with me. It's gonna be awesome. Let's just learn some stuff today and have some fun. Alrighty. So first we're gonna start off just on the main homepage of Google. You need to go ahead and sign in to an account. If you don't have an account, it's very easy to sign up to one. Go ahead and just sign up, sign into an account. We're gonna go up here, click these three dots, or I guess three by three, so six dots, nine dots, <laughs> oh my goodness. And we're gonna go down until you see sheets. If you don't see it right here, you might have to scroll down a little bit. It should be somewhere in there. And if it's still not there, you can just go to Google search and Google search sheets. Um, here's what we're going to do. Click on the sheets tab. It's going to open you up to your dashboard. If you've never made any sheets, then this will be blank. I've got a lot of them as you can see, but we're just going to start a new spreadsheet. We're going to hit blank right up here. Alrighty. So here are a few things that you can do right off the bat to just get started, get some things out of the way. First, we can give this spreadsheet a title. So we're gonna click up here and we can title it whatever we want. I'm just gonna call it Google Sheets for Dummies because that's what we're doing today. So what you see here is the Google Sheets main interface. In this main section here is all of your cells. This is where all of your numbers and your data goes. Up here is your toolbar. It has all the different tools. It kind of looks like Word or Google Docs if you used those before. And then up here is your menu bar. And under each of the menu bar, there's tons of other options. You don't need to know all these right now. You don't, it doesn't really matter to memorize everything, but it is really good to just know what's up here. And when you need something, you can look for it later. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to start typing in a sheet. You can just click on a cell and you can just type whatever you want. Hello. I'm going to expand. I'm going to zoom in my screen a little bit here. If you don't know how to do this on Google Chrome, you click these three dots, go down to zoom, and I'm going to increase the zoom. This is just going to help you guys see this a little bit better. All right. So you can type in whatever cell you want. You can type in numbers. You can type in like a little message. Hi. Right. Whatever. If you want to clear out your cell, just select it and click backspace or delete. And as you can see, I'm kind of jumping around. I'm doing this with my keys on my keyboard. You can also do this with your mouse where you just click. Now let's cover something really important real fast before we jump into anything. Notice up here in our columns, we have A, B, C, D, E, all the way until Z. You can add more if you want to, but right now we have until Z. And all of our columns are starting with a letter. Now let's look at our rows. We have one, two, three, all the way down. And this goes on for a long time. So I'm just gonna jump to the bottom and move my head here. A thousand rows. And look at this. If you need more, you can just add a thousand more. Sweet. Let's jump back up to the top. So how do we know what cell we're talking about? Every cell has a unique location. It starts with the name of the column or the letter of the column and the number of the row. So this cell, for example, would be D, 10, because we're at the intersection of D and 10. Up here is B, 4. Here, F, 1. G, 15. Alrighty, so if I reference a cell like C, 4, then that's what that means. Um, let me show you something else. You can also have a range of cells, so like C, 5 through C, 10. And you can see up here in the corner, in this, they call it the name box, it selects the entire range, C5, colon, C10. That's everything in between there. Perfect. Now, what other things can we do to the interface? Well, we can change the size of the columns. You just point in between the columns and you can just drag, drag it out. Same thing with the rows. You can make them really big. Typically, you're just going to keep them standard size. Uh, if you want to undo, we can do control or command Z, undo, 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 all the way back to normal. Perfect. Some other things you can do, we can add columns. So if you right click, we got insert a column, either insert to the left or insert to the right. 
So for example, let's just put high in column C and insert one to the left. Now that high jumps to D, all right? And if we put hello on this one and we do a new column to the right, it's gonna put a column in between. Let's delete those. The next thing you can do the same with your rows. Right click, insert one row above or one, one row below. It's really helpful um, if you have a lot of different things going on, you can just quickly insert a row, no big deal. All right, the next thing I wanna show you is some of the formatting you can do with Google Sheets. So let's just say we have like a little table and we'll just start all the way up here in A1. We have names, we've got like a number and a state. Maybe we're doing like a survey or something. So what we can do is select all three of these. And if you select cells all at the same time and you do some formatting up here, it's gonna apply to all of the cells that are selected. So we have these selected. Let's go into our font right here where it says default and scroll down until we find something cool. Lexend, that looks kind of cool. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, what we can do is change, increase the size. This works just like a Word doc. Um, over here, the horizontal align, we can align it in the middle, sweet. And if you want, you can change the fill color. I'm gonna do a nice kind of a dark green and change the text color to a white. Oh yeah, so that looks really nice. Another thing we can do, we can add borders. So you're gonna find this one that looks like windows, it's borders. You have all these different options, but probably you're just gonna do all borders and look at that. It automatically puts a nice little outline outside of all of your, all of your cells. So let's just start filling some stuff out. I'm just gonna make up some names. Bob, Jane, Sue, Billy, Mike, Trevor, and Hannah. Maybe this is their like soccer team or something. So I'm just gonna make up some numbers. Doesn't really matter. We're just exploring. We're just trying some stuff. And let's do number one. And they're all from the state of Texas. So what we can do Instead of writing Texas, 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 we can do click on the cell, control C. And we're gonna highlight all the rest of these and then control or command V. So that's copy and paste, just like a Word doc if you've ever done that. Another quick trick, you see this little handlebar right here, this little blue square. If you hover over it, you can click and drag down and it's gonna automatically fill the rest of the spots with that exact same thing that's in that cell. So now we have a nice little table happening here. I really like what's going on. Uh, but that's some of the things you can do with formatting. You can change the color of the cell, co color of the text. You can move the alignment. You can put some borders on it. Like what if we just did a nice outside border here to close all that in? That looks really nice. What if I didn't want it to be all wedged up in the corner? We can insert a column, insert a row, Hmm, okay, look at this. We have all of these that applied the color. What if I don't want that anymore? So I can just select these cells and we're gonna click control and backslash. Look at that. It automatically just clears out anything, any formatting that we've done to the cell. So now we have this nice little table, perfect. Let's do a couple more things. Let's just do a uh, control backslash, get rid of everything. We're gonna start from scratch. Next thing I wanna show you is you can do simple basic calculations in spreadsheets. Anytime you're gonna do a calculation, you're always gonna start with an equal sign. So let's just do, let's say numbers to add. And I'm just gonna make up some numbers. 12, 10, 17, 15, and six, okay? And let's make this bold. So we can do Control or Command B, or we can click this bold button up here. Down here, we wanna add up all the numbers. So let's do equal sign. And look at that, it's already wanting to put in something for us, but we're gonna, we're gonna try it out anyway. So you can do the sum function, sum, and we're just gonna click and drag all of those. And just like that, you're automatically adding up all of those numbers. You can also do it one by one. So you can do 12 plus sign 10 plus sign 17 plus sign 15 plus six. You get the same result, but if you notice the sum function it's a lot faster. Boom, just like that. Something else you can do, you can multiply some numbers. 
So let's just do like two times five, right? Equals, and we can do two star five. We're gonna get 10. There's also a multiply formula. So two comma five. The comma just means we're multiplying two different things. Either way works, either way works. The last thing that we're gonna talk about for today, it's super quick, super easy. I'm gonna teach you how to filter and find specific things in a list. So let's just say we have all of our names again. We have Bob, Sue, Harry, Mike, Lauren, Jess, Hannah, uh, Luke, Tyler, Eddie, Michael, and Jane, right? Whatever, we're, we're just making up some names. Let's select our entire thing of names. We're gonna go up here, all the way over here, we're gonna find this create a filter button, click. And you're gonna see this little arrow, these little three arrows line up right here. That means a filter has been created. We can also see it over here, it's been lit up. What we can do is now click on the filter button and in here we can uncheck. If we don't wanna see all these people, we're gonna uncheck all of them and it's only gonna show the ones that we have left. Now, we didn't delete anything. We're just filtering. So if you want them all to come back, just select all and they're all back. But what's really cool is there's all kinds of stuff. You can sort A to Z. You can go Z to A. Maybe we just want to do all the guys. So like Bob, Eddie, Harry, Luke, Michael, Mike, and Tyler. And now we're just looking at all the guys. So those are some really simple things you can do in Google Sheets. I really just encourage you to just play around in here. See if there's anything that you can figure out. There's so many things and there's such a large world to do in Google Sheets. Don't feel overwhelmed. You don't have to know everything. And I hope that you've seen some fun ways that you can mess with spreadsheets. And if this was something that you found interesting, just drop a comment below. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you want more tutorials like this. And let me know what your favorite thing was that we learned today. Really hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Peace.